How much do you love your dog? Would you go to court to fight for custody if you and your partner split up and couldn't decide who would keep the pup? Or do you think it's inappropriate to use the courts to make such a decision? Well, we're gonna meet the woman at the center of a national debate on this very topic and the dog she went to great lengths to keep right now on It's Your Call. Dexter, everyone. He's a six-year-old pug who is apparently a very special dog. He is so loved by his co-owners that when they split up, he became the focus of a dog custody battle. That custody dispute has sparked quite a few debates about its merit, including one coming up later in this show. Hello, everyone. It's great to have you with us. I'm Lynn Doyle. Here's a question for you. Do you have a dog or a cat or any kind of pet? Can you imagine parting with it? Well, for many people, their pets are like part of the family. And for some who can't or don't have children, they're even sometimes considered a form of offspring. That was the case with Doreen Hausman, who, along with her then partner, brought Dexter home six years ago. Together, they they raised the pup, pampered him, protected him, and essentially made him part of their family. But when the couple decided to split up, never an easy decision, they could not agree on who would get custody of Dexter. Eventually, when all else failed, they took the case to court, and a judge, albeit an exasperated one, ruled that the two must now share custody. So now, like many a product of a broken home, Dexter spends five weeks at a time with Doreen and five weeks at a time with his dad. He's joining us along with his mom, Doreen Hausman. Doreen, Dexter, welcome to the show. Nice to have you here. Hi, thank you. So Doreen, what is it about Dexter that makes him so special that you had to go to court to get custody? He's just unique and like a child and a part of the family. When you first got him, was there an instant bond with him? Definitely, yes, yes. Tell me what he was like as a pug pup. <laughs> very cuddly, very cute. It's not much different than he is now, actually. <laughs> and the two of you, your then partner, um, brought him home together and raised him together when it was apparent that the relationship with him was not going to proceed how did you how did you um, approach the topic of custody well it was actually right away when he wanted to end it he said that I could I could have him and when I moved out I took him with me oh he did mm -hmm. okay so how is it that we ended up in a court battle well it wasn't long after I had him that he had approached me and asked if we could share him and I knew you know I, I didn't want to not be with him and I, I couldn't imagine him not wanting him, so I agreed. Now you know that there are a lot of people who are watching this who certainly can relate to your love for the dog, but they might not be able to relate to the fact that you and your former partner couldn't work out a deal on who would get custody. Right. They, they criticize the concept of going to court. What would you say to those people? Well, it's hard, you know, if you're not in that situation, it's very hard for someone to make, and everybody has their own opinion, but it's very hard to know how it feels until you actually go through it. Mm -hmm. So you could not come up with a plan where you would have possession of the dog or he would have full-time possession of the dog. Did you at least attempt that? Was well, that something did. that you tried? Yes, we did. For um, probably about six to nine months, um, he had him on the weekdays and I had him on the weekends and I had him on the holidays and any days that I had off, I had him extra time. Okay, sounds like a perfect plan. What went wrong? Um, he wasn't agreeing with things that I did in my personal life, and he decided that he didn't want to share them anymore, and he kept them. So he kept him mm -hmm. on one of his normal visitations. This really does sound like a, <laughs> a child custody case, the kind that we have uh, often debated here on It's Your Call. Did you try to reason with him? What, what action did you take? Um, it, I tried, but he's not the type of person who's good at reasoning, so um, I just thought the best thing to do was just end the conversation and um, cut off communication, and the very next morning I contacted it, Kina. And when you contacted your lawyer, um, you decided to move forward and take this case to court, mm -hmm. uh, because mediation obviously did not work. What was the response in, in the uh, judicial system? Um, it wasn't very pleasant. <laughs> it wasn't very heartfelt at, at all. It was um, very hard to believe how they would treat you know, a pet. 
can you understand at all that like the courts is as overcrowded as they are these days and with what some might say more serious cases, you know, in a backlog that, that you could understand the frustration that people would have trying to have a custody decision ruling over a dog? Yes, I absolutely, I can understand um, the frustration and everything, but also, you know, they have to understand that animals are, to some people, like people, you're a part of your family, and it's just, it's not that easy to just give up on something that you cared for for three years and just to be taken away from you. So you love that dog like some people might love a child. Exactly. And I know a lot of people, you, you, you know what's going to happen here, right? <laughs> a lot of people are going to say, I totally get it. I feel that way about my own animal and there's no way I could ever part with it. And then other people are going to say, well, this is a whack job. Right. You know, I mean, so you understand that there are oh, yeah. two sides of the story. I'm not saying <laughs> either side is right or wrong. Right. But, but you have a love for this animal like some people have for for another member of their family yes so you are now in the process of sharing custody mm -hmm. how's it working well it just started so far so good <laughs> <laughs> because he's been with you right, right. All right you're, gonna, you're going to have to um, eventually part with the dog for five weeks yes, um, yes. any trepidation about that it, it's next Friday already I cannot believe how quick five weeks go uh, it's going to be it's going to be difficult but um, it's I'll be I'll be okay knowing I'm going to get him back in five weeks after and you feel comfortable that you will get him back because we've seen custody cases where you know possession is nine tenths of the law <laughs> right I hope so <laughs> so you feel comfortable yes that the yes. court court decision will be upheld by yes. both parties right I don't think he wants to go any further with this as don't I I don't want any problems and we're both adults I believe we can do it <laughs> okay well obviously this case has generated a lot of debate and discussion and now we'd like to generate a little bit more so we're gonna invite you to be part of it what do you think about this case can you understand loving an animal a pet so much that you couldn't stand apart with it or do you think it's unreasonable to go so far as to fight for custody and how about the courts should they be involved in cases like this as always we want to know what you think so I'm inviting you to email your thoughts and your opinions to me. Here's how you can do it. A couple of different ways available to you. You can log on to csnphilly.com and then put in It's Your Call or IYC under the search title. That'll take you to my webpage where you can leave me a comment or you can email me directly at tcn underscore IYC at comcastnetwork.com. You can also find us on Facebook, MySpace or YouTube. Now, when our cameras were out in the region, we found out that a lot of you agreed with Doreen's fight. I think it's worth it. Personally, I would fight for my dog. I really think once you get attached to something that much, it would be hard to give it up. You gotta fight for your right. I think we had to go to court for the dog, because I need my dog. That's the main thing I'm in love with in the first place. I don't even love her, I love the dog, first and foremost. He'd probably have to let me have it. I usually get my way. Girls generally are better at taking care of pets and stuff. They're better nurturers, so I think that the dog should go with the girl. If the guy thinks that the dog should go with him, it'd be worth going to court over. The dog should be split up like a kid, you know, half 50-50. Like, everybody gets a piece of the dog. Like, But the person who treats the dog better should totally get the dog. We live in the city. Dogs are for the country. Exactly. I would give it to her. She and would I give would it to me. I would give it back to him. So we would go to court to force the other person to take the dog. Take the dog. That's almost like a custody battle over a child. And you really got to look at, you know, what's the best environment for the animal. I'll have to keep the dog since I cleaned up the mess. I'm paying for the little shirts and everything, and he get taken up to the doctors, you know, you know. So I think I should be able to keep the dog. That's what I think. Joining us now to debate the merits or lack thereof of such pet custody cases are Gina Calagero, who is a New Jersey-based family law attorney. She handles so many animal cases that she's actually been called the F. Lee Bailey of dog law. She's a member of the New Jersey State Bar Association's Animal Law Committee. And debating the other side of this issue, our old friend Jennifer Brandt, who is a partner in the family law department of Cozen O'Connor, which is in Philadelphia. Ladies, nice to have you here with us. And we're all smiling because we all love animals, but at the same time, there are two very distinct sides uh, to this particular story. I want to start with Gina because to be the F. Lee Bailey of <laughs> animal law cases, there are truly that many people who fight over their animals? 
yes, there are, and many of my cases are not animal custody cases. The animal custody cases have actually uh, seen a big increase in the last few years. I think five, ten years ago I didn't have any, and this year I had six or seven, and 